What in the fuck is up, Tooltubers? Burnt Up Sparky here. Today, I'm gonna review. Uh, you fucker. Ah, it's not gonna be legible. It is the Fleur CM83. It's a clamp meter I use. I still use as an industrial electrician. And, yeah, it's one hell of a fucking meter. Let's read this bullshit. <clears throat> Damn. Picked up the wrong meat book. I picked up how to lick winders. Anyways, features 10,000 count display, large scale display. Just got pretty fucking large display. And that backlight's great when you're working in the dark, which in a lot of the times in industrial, except oil and gas, you're always in the dark. <clears throat> Analog bar graph. I haven't found that yet, but. True RMS reading in AC-DC mode, work light, which that work light is super fucking bright. Hold up, I'm gonna be watch this. Y'all can see that's, that's some light it puts out. Alright. Uh, auto AC-DC 600 amp capacity. Capability section, auto AC DC 1000 volt capability section, auto resistance continuity diode selection, blah, 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 blah. power and power factor measurement, total harmonic distortion, 1 to 25 harmonics. That phase rotation indication, that thing is a fucking lifesaver. Because instead of having to grab the, hold up, so instead of having to grab this piece of shit, this piece of shit, phase rotation meter. Uh, there we go. Station indicator with these shitty dingusins. This fucker can do it. Don't like this one because that's all it does. And there's no like you can't do what Fluke always says to do is live dead live. You can't tell if the fucking thing's working till you hook it up to 480. And well, I hope it's working. Won't be able to diagnose the problems of a motor going wrong. Yeah, where the fuck is that? Focus, you fucker. Phase rotation indication, that's fucking great ass thing on it. <clears throat> What's on there? 100 kilo ohm resistance capacity. Really wish. Fleur, if you're listening, I know you ain't. But make one of these, throw a mega in that bitch. Y'all sell millions. That's it, just add where, you know, you can put a thousand volts to your tits, and it'll be fucking selling like hotcakes. Hotcakes. Uncontact voltage tester, which is pretty dope. Hold my beer, watch this. Y'all see that shit? Ah, uh, fuck. Uh, fuck. There we go. See that? Red light? No red light. I like no red light. That shit's live. Alright, uh, do no contact, frequency measurements, capacitance, capability, smart data hold, peak hold, and rush current. Alright, another good thing, testing motor. Hey, how come it, whenever I bump this, how, hey, how come whenever we turn this shit on, it kills it? Check the inrush. Usually we'll trip your overload. Just reset your overload. DC 8, um, DC current, fuck, DC current zero key, which is great, because whenever you do your DC amps, you need to fucking zero that bitch out, min, max, and average, VFD mode, auto power off, that jaw opening, convenient battery cover, I call bullshit on convenience, because who in the fuck, whenever you're like, hey, I need to go change out something. Everybody thinks, look, see, fuck, Phillips. It's a goddamn Phillips number one. Who the fuck carries that on it? Fleur? How are you saying that's convenient? Alright, in safety category, cat. Cat 4, 600, cat 3, 1000. Let's get into this bitch. Okay, so first things first. It would focus. 
A lot of the cool shit it can do, I ain't gonna be able to show. I'm just gonna say that as of now. Alright, you got your, this bitch, focus, fucker. It does have one of my favorite things, you can take that bitch out of auto ranging, which is stupid. Hold up, fuck. There you go, take it out of auto range. There we fucking go. And you can go do to do. Also, one of the cool things it does whenever you put on something that's hot, it lets you know, hey, there's power. So, little indicator. So, got that little fucking focus, you fuck. And there we go. Ah, bitch. Has a little triangle to tell you, hey, you're gonna kill yourself if you fuck with that. You don't know what you're doing, but yeah, you see 120. It's good. <clears throat> Mode DC. Take my range. Some bitch. I want to go open. Uh, fuck this. I'm not gonna try to fuck with this shit again. It does read ACDC. It does read DC. It's just very. It's accurate, just not the best of accuracy. 2.5, like it's not gonna be like multimeter accuracy, and that's not what you use a clamp meter for. Oh, you fucker. Ah, get out of there. Yeah, so you have your ACDC, you have your amps. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Anyways, you have your amps. You should plug that bad boy in. And you see amps, yeah, it's not going to have enough to pull, read what those amps are, but yeah. AC amps, DC amps, and that's a great thing you also have when you see min-max on your DC amps, but if you go there, pull your leads out because you always take amp measurements without it. Boom, you zero your DC amps. Then you put your cable through the dingus in and and turn on whatever you're trying to read your amps on your DC which is a great fucking feature of it used it a lot when I worked on overhead cranes fucker used it a lot when I worked on my overhead cranes and which was great because all our mags were DC, a lot of our motors were DC, damn near everything was DC. Anywho, next fun thing on this bitch, it will do your watts. Why would you need to know your watts? Uh, shit, I'm trying to think, I think why you would need to know your watts, but see, it, it'll work, I just ain't got the fuck kilowatts watts come on work you fucker right, let's see we go mode mode Which power factor should tell you what is that shit ain't gonna do it is our next favorite feature this one right here as your phase rotation what you do, take this one to C phase. Uh, how these fuckers, that's maybe the one good thing about this piece of shit. Convenience, I just clip on all three phases. This is, and it will tell you the arrow sign, but I mean, that's all it does. This will do phase rotation and other shit. Check my amps, all that fun shit. So, say I have three phases, I will put black on my third phase, red on my first phase, and this will read something that will say L2. So I take my red off my first phase, put it in my second phase, take it off, and it will read either 1, 2, 3, or 3, 2, 1. And that will tell you if it's clockwise or counterclockwise. Okay, then watching and editing, I noticed that I explained that as about as fucking good as trying to explain to window licker why you ain't licked the windows. But yeah, just 
pretend you are, oh, ain't colorblind and that white is red, but yeah, you keep your black lead on the third phase. First one, when you first do it, you take your red lead to the first phase, then you go and it will read L2. Then when it reads L2, you swap your red from your first phase to your second phase. Then it will say, da -da -da -da, right there, one, two, three indicates clockwise or forward motion, which means the presumed phase line is ahead of presumed line two. Three to one indicates counterclockwise or reverse rotation, which means the presumed line two is ahead of presumed line one. Pretty much. You pretty much just basic motor. If you needed to swap a three phase motor, just swap two of your leads. Alright, back to the video. Alright, oh, fucker. Next up would be. Yeah, continuity, which has. One good thing it has is you can kill your damn sound on this thing. Which is great because. Well, when you're trying to see, hey, how. Some bitch. How good is this damn thing reading? Okay, so again in editing, I noticed this one. I'm a fucking retard explaining basic resistance. Your continuity is to check your resistance. What resistance is? Is. Oh, it's your damn resistance. It checks your ohms. Now oh, you fucker. Also, might possibly do a review on these. Spoiler, they suck ass. Alright, so with your continuity resistance, say, hey, I have this long ass wire. Of course, it's not going to be coiled up like this. It's going to be one in one conduit, do it, or something like that. So I'm going to put it to ground because that's the easiest way. Stab this bitch in the ground and see if I hear it. So I got that. I'm gonna see. You can know it's pretty damn fast. It has a really fast response rate. Yeah, pretty fast response rate. It will tell it. Now the reason you don't want that beep on your continuity. Say, okay, shit. Uh, yeah. Alright, let me see if you still ring out. Okay, no. Say you don't want continuity. Say you're trying to see the resistance of some connections you made up, and you really don't want to hear, like, that beep. Let's say it's a, uh, fuck. It's a high resistance. You're trying to see why, you know, something was hooked up ain't working. Or trying to see if you can see the resistance of different shit. Now I've got examples of explain this shit, but yeah. Explain that a little better than that. Also Oh motherfucker I lost the specs. Hold your bit hold my beer. I got this, I got this, sorry. The specs on this bad boy are it's accuracy of plus or minus five digit, plus or minus three digit, or well that's continuity, plus or minus five digit. Your continuity is always gonna use your highest ohms. Alright, yeah, back to the video. Yeah, we'll do <clears throat> diode Ohms, continuity. Also do capacitance. It's also, uh, fuck it. If I can get to work, stupid idiot. Trying to cut it off. Yeah, backlight. Then, oh, you fucker, focus. Oh, now you want to be a cunt to not do it. That would probably be my own boom Bluetooth. You can put it to your phone. You can read your measurements. I got a little video of it. I'll probably put it in the video, but yeah. As that. 
it is I believe it says on here I believe it's IP60 IP58 like it's waterproof too I've dropped this shit in well I hope I left it in bucket water overnight fucking genius picked it up the next day still running good dropped it I know it's rated for a four foot drop I ain't saying for y'all to do it I'm just saying I've done it it's fallen 85 foot fell off a overhead crane fell into a cooling pond fell into uh, a wash down area for cement just saying I'm saying this meter is built like a tank y'all should buy it like comment subscribe if you like that video peace motherfuckers so like I said it, it will Bluetooth this is what it looks like on the phone so yeah like comment subscribe peace motherfuckers